with a voice of singing declare the antelis, utter it even to the end of the earth. Alleluia! The Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. Alleluia! Alleluia! Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. With the voice of singing, declare ye and tell these, utter it even to the end of the earth. Alleluia! The Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. Alleluia! Alleluia! The Old Testament reading for the fifth Sunday after Easter is from Jeremiah chapter 29. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for wholeness and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The epistle is from James chapter 1. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. If anyone thinks he is religious, and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart. This person's religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Yeah. Uh -huh.
the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 16th chapter. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures of speech, but I will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day, you will ask in my name. And I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you. Because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world, and now I am leaving the world and going to the Father. His disciples said, Ah, now you are speaking plainly and not using figurative speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need anyone to question you. This is why we believe that you came from God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ.
The following address makes use of resources from our synod. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has said, Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. We ask in Jesus' name for faithful pastors and church workers. We ask for the Father's protection against our inclination to anxiety over worldly things and fear of persecution. We ask for the Father's mercy to comfort and sustain us in prayer. To pray in Jesus' name is to pray as one who has been baptized. For it is in the water that he put his name upon you, claiming you as his own, making you a son of God with access to the Father. By his incarnation and crucifixion, our Lord Jesus broke through the barrier of sin which separated us from God, opening a portal to the Father. To pray in Jesus' name is to pray with faith in him as the one mediator between God and men. He gave himself as a ransom for all. Like Moses in the wilderness, Jesus is our go-between and intercessor before the throne of heaven. He was lifted up for us on the cross that we might be saved and restored to fellowship with the Father. The Father answers our prayers because of Jesus, and therefore, we pray with boldness and confidence as dear children of God. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, your Son has promised that if we ask, shall receive. Let these words ring in our ears so that we know our prayers are pleasing to you, since Christ has commanded us to pray and promised to hear us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, protect your church from complacency, anxiety over worldly things, and fear of persecution. Give us faithful pastors and church workers who proclaim your life-giving word to us. Bring us zeal for the house of God and peace in our hearts and in our days. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, soften the hearts in every home. Turn parents and children toward each other in love and patience. Banish the spirit of stubbornness and rebellion from all. Sanctify us in your truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal Lord, receive our supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings for all civil authorities and servants in high positions. Give them the saving knowledge of Christ Jesus, our mediator, whose death is the ransom for all. Bless also their exercise of power for the common good, that we may lead peaceful and quiet lives, godly and dignified in every way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, in the resurrection of your dear Son, you showed his victory over all our griefs and sorrows, having carried them to the cross, breaking their power, and winning for us life and salvation. Grant your mercy to the 
sick and sorrowing, the grieving and dying, especially those on our prayer list and those we need now in our own hearts. Grant to those in need of our prayers your merciful aid and according to your gracious will that they may be upheld in their time of affliction, defended in their time of trial, guarded by your mighty protection, and given healing from their affliction, or entrance into your heavenly kingdom through the power of Christ's mighty resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have attended to the voice of our prayers, for you have commanded us to pray and have promised to hear us. Let your mercy comfort and sustain us in prayer, that we may heartily and fervently pray to you at all times and in all places, not doubting but trusting in your promise. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 